All right, so in this video, I'm gonna show you how to replace the right front CB joint or axle on a 2004 Jaguar X-Type, probably pretty similar from 2004 through the end of its production year. Uh, I started by taking off the wheel, um, just taking a quick look. I've replaced this boot several times and it just will not stay, too much rust. So I'm just gonna replace the whole shaft. Start by taking off the caliper. There's two bolts on the backside. I think they're 14 millimeter. It's going to hold it out into the uh, spindle, rest that out of the way, and then you can pull the rotor off and pop that down. Next, you're going to see a couple fasteners down there, right there, and then one on the opposite side that I'll show you right there. Take those off. Once you've got that out, you can start to see where uh, the connection points for the lower control arm are. I'm going to re remove the bolt that goes through the uh, lower ball joint. And then I'm going to pry it apart, just start to get it a little bit loose. And then I'm going to take off the axle nut. At the same time, I have taken off the um, front lower control arm bolt. You can see it kind of right there that that's out of the way as well. So with that loose and out of the way, you're seeing here's the new shaft. It's got a circlip on the end, and that's what holds it inside the transfer case and transmission there. Now, there's two 10 millimeter bolts back there on a bracket that hold the oil pan kind of to the transfer case. And then there's a lower one, which I believe is 13 millimeter, right there. I took that out of the way so that I could get access to the end of the shaft so I could knock it out of place. So I've taken it out, that's what it looks like on the ground. Underneath, you can see where the CV shaft or the, uh, the axle goes into the transfer case. I used a long pry bar and a big hammer and I just tapped it a couple times, knocked it loose, and that came out. When you pull it out, just be careful that you don't tear any seals on the transfer case itself. Um, you're gonna have to push the uh, strut assembly out of the way as well, just to get yourself a little bit more room. You can see there's the seal matched up to the same, which is important that we're not gonna try and put in a shaft that isn't the same. I put a little bit of rubber grease on the seal um, and I cleaned it up with some brake clean as well so that there's no debris in there. Um, once that's in, I'm going to then take the, um, the new axle and push it in. So the axle is going to go in straight. You're going to have to push that knuckle out of the way. And then once you got that, just give it a couple taps until that seal lodges itself inside the transfer case. You can see it's flush right there. Then I'm gonna put that bracket back into place. I'm gonna put the end of the shaft back in to the hub. I'm using the new bolt uh, nut here. I didn't like it, so I ended up using the old nut at the end because it just had more of a face to hold it on to the hub. Then I'm gonna reattach that lower control arm to the subframe there forgot to show you guys that I took that out in the first place. This is kind of what it's looking like now. And I'm going to put the brake rotor on. Keep in mind that I did reinstall the lower control arm um, uh, ball joint nut as well. So don't forget to do that. Put the splash shield back into place. Tighten up the axle nut. Pop on your wheel. Make sure everything's good. You're all set.